This is one of the drops that Albert Okuwebunum had. The Broncos going to motion Phillip Lindsay out. That way they're drawing another coverage guy out of the box. Lindsay's just going to run a little bit of a fade route here. Jake Butt's going to run an out route. Albert O's going to release vertically, stem out, and then come right up into the back corner of the end zone here. This is the design to get him the football. And it just goes through his hands. He runs a great route here. I think the ball placement is pretty good for the most part. It comes into a spot where only he could get it. It goes right through the hands. And it falls incomplete. This would have been a fun touchdown for the Broncos here. And they're going to go back to this. They're going to get better. They need to improve in the red zone. That's a big goal for them. But you're going to see the chip release outside. And like I said, I really like the route here from Albert Oak Webunam. And for some reason, the CBS announcers can't pronounce it. He's going to release vertically, step out like he's going to run, and then bam. This almost reminds me of the Owen Daniels route that we had seen in the AFC Championship game. And great window. I mean, that is a great freaking window for Locke to throw it in. Unfortunately, it just falls incomplete. This is one that they're going to go back to. They're going to keep working on. Drew Locke is going to find Tim Patrick down the right sideline. This is third and 21. And New England is going to be in their too high safety look. They're going to play cover two man. Man coverage here. Man coverage here. Man coverage here. And for Tim Patrick, his outside release, he's going to step vertically, get to the outside. Locke's going to hit him in stride. And really, this is a design where Judy's going to come on the inside here. And that's going to take away this guy from maybe being able to leak over the top. And I like the design here. It gets open overall for Denver. And the offensive line does a good job giving Drew Locke a lot of time to pass pro. And it's just a wind-up throw right over the top, right in the basket. His ball placement on deep throws is pretty good for the most part on Sunday. And Tim, that man, Timmy P in these streets, he's got to get a paycheck. That man deserves a contract extension. There's a reason the Broncos brought him back. They're very high on him. Fake the inside. Pass protection is great. Good job right here by DeMar Dotson. And you're just playing inside out with these two guys. And look at this. This guy right here, he's on the ground. And I wish I could go back and rewind, but Garrett Bulls buried this dude, and Austin Schlotman's going to help out. And then you're going to see Locke unwind and throw. And that window, golly damn, right here, right to the outside. We call this area right here the red line, where if you throw the ball to the outside here, only the receiver's going to get it. DB's not going to get a chance to make a play on that. He catches it, gets both feet and bounce. First down, Denver. All right, Broncos country, the New England Patriots, they're playing a cover one look here. They're showing a different look as well, but you got one-on-one -on -one corner coverage here, one-on-one -on -one here, and then you've got safety coverage right here on the tight end, and then he's going to be the middle guy. But what you're going to see on this design is a similar play that the Broncos had against the Pittsburgh Steelers. No offense, touchdown by Jeff Driscoll. Tim Patrick's going to release inside, come here, and Albert Oak Wabenham's going to release on a wheel route to the end zone. Jerry Judy's going to run a route out here, step outside, come back in. He's the last resort. Jake Butt's going to block 1-1001 one, one, and then release on a drag pattern. Phil Lindsay's going to fake the inside handoff here. He's going to pass pro against Chase Winovich right here coming off the edge. And Graham Glasgow's actually going to pull to be an extra pass protection guy as well because initially, if this was not a design, you would see Albert Oak Wabenham blocking this guy one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want that to happen. They're trying to release him, so they got to place where the pressure is going to come from. You're going to see that from Graham Glasgow. And in my opinion, if Drew Locke throws this ball a little sooner, it may end up in a touchdown. Overall, great leverage here by the DB. And right there, maybe if he throws a little bit high arcing, maybe it goes into Albert Okawebunam's hands in front of him. Instead, it's going to be incomplete. The Broncos got to come away with some of these red zone opportunities. Now I'm going to pause it a second right here. Okay, So as you see, initially, if this was not the design, Albert O would block him one-on-one. -on -one. That's not the case. He's going to release on a route. Tim Patrick inside here. And then what you're going to see is the double team from Garrett Bowles and Dalton Reisner on the defensive tackle. Graham Glasgow is going to pull to replace on pass protection on Chase Winovich. Inside handoff, Philip Lindsay is going to block as well here. So that's how the play design is set up. I like it. It's creativity. The Broncos were very aggressive against the Patriots on Sunday. Going to have to see more of that against the Chiefs this upcoming Sunday when they come to town. This play was another target from Drew Locke to Albert Okwebunam, and they're just going to motion Jerry Judy in line down here. He's going to run an out route, and then what you're going to see from Albert Okwebunam, because there's congested traffic here, man coverage with Stephon Gilmore on Deshaun Hamilton, but because he's flexed out right here, he's going to run inside. He's going to run the corner route. There's some contact. They don't call pass interference, which I think you can make an argument there was. Tim Patrick's going to fight in between two contact and then run a fin route. But obviously with the contact, you don't get it. He's not the intended target, so they're going to motion. Now, one thing you're going to see, I'm going to pause it right here. If you notice this guy right here, this defender, he's signaling. He's banging his hands together. It's what we call a combo call, meaning I'm going to take whatever comes on the inside. I love that. I mean, that's DB play right there. And then you're going to see ball placement right here. 
Contact. No flag on the play. Let's watch again. There's contact to the face before the ball gets there. That should have been a pass interference call on the New England Patriots. It's a no call. Broncos taking an aggressive shot with Albert Okwebunam here. And then you're just going to see here the defensive interior. you got a zero technique head up here. A lot of teams like to run the zero tech against a guy like Lloyd Cushmere because he's a rookie. And the pass protection for the Broncos gives Drew Locke so much time to throw. Defensive back gets there early. That should have been a penalty overall. On this play, the Broncos are going to go with Albert O once again. Now, I like this. They're just motioning him. They're moving him everywhere. This is a chance for him to continue to establish a role. They're going to motion him here. He's just going to run. He's going to plant, and he's going to run to the corner. They ran this a lot at Mizzou. He and Drew Locke threw a lot of corner routes to one another. This is a, actually a great throw here by Drew Locke. I mean, he's going to float that ball right over the top, right where it needs to be. And the defensive back, look, Albert O catches it. Defensive back knocks it away at the last second. And on the other angle you saw in the broadcast, he did a phenomenal job. The DB, look, he can't be mad at good DB play. Albert Oak waving him. Got to find a way to hold on to that football, though. But I like the, the step right here. Lock, he sets his foot. He throws it, and it's going to be in a great spot. Look at that spot. High, top shelf, where the kids can't get it. And he's going to come down with it, and then the DB knocks it out last second. That would have been a touchdown if the DB didn't make a good play. You can't fault there. You can't point fingers. It's just a missed opportunity for Denver. This is another play where the Broncos can't get a completion. Deshaun Hamilton is going to drop that, and Deshaun is right here for those of you looking on the screen. Uh, overall, though, here's what the Broncos can do. I like this design because it's going to scheme to get guys open, especially against the blitz, against man coverage. You're going to motion Jerry Judy in line here. Tim Patrick's number two guys on the line of scrimmage. He is going to step, and he's going to take an outside release, and Jerry Judy is going to clear underneath, which he's going to have to come underneath traffic here. And then Albert Oak Wavenham is going to vertical release and then come across field. This is levels, and it's going to free Jerry Judy up underneath. Tim Patrick is going to run the fin route here. And then you're going to have Royce Freeman here. He's going to swing out. So this is just an option, especially with the blitz here. If it's coming heavy, you got this safety who's spying the running back. He's keen right here for the back. He's spying it, but if this guy does not blitz... And this guy's coming off the edge. You can hit a quick dump off to your tailback to the flat. Deshaun's going to run a vertical seam, and he's going to be wide open here against Stephon Gilmore. Who, that's pretty damn good coverage. Now he's in trail technique. Ball gets placed perfectly over the top, and Deshaun can't hold on to a great throw overall here by Drew Locke. This is one that the Broncos want back desperately, and they'd give anything to go back and do it. But the, the deep shots are there. The accuracy, the touch on Drew Locke's passes were there in this game. Do not, ladies and gentlemen, do not buy into just looking at the stat sheet and saying, oh, Drew Locke threw 10 of 24. He's not that good. Think of all the placement that he had, some of the key drops. And the Broncos aren't in that situation here. But what the Patriots are going to do, they're going to send pressure. They're going to send Winovich off the edge. They're going to send a blitz here. They got a zero technique on Lloyd Cushbury. They're going to send him. And then Austin Schlotman going to have Collins one-on-one -on -one here. And then you're going to have this outside guy where Garrett Bowles is going to have him as well. Now, initially, when you look at offensive line protection, you got a zero technique right here. So that's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Now that you have, in this situation, a three technique, or you can call him a split because he's in between the, the guard and the tackle, these guys will double team initially. If this guy comes outside, Garrett Bowles will put his hand right here, this hand. He'll put it right there. Um, and then outside of that, this guy's coming off the edge, so Garrett Bowles will have to kick step and take him in one-on-one. -on -one. That's exactly what you're going to see there. And as I mentioned here, Albert Oak is going to get vertical. He's going to come across. Tim Patrick's going to release, and Jerry Judy's going to come up inside here. It schemes to get him open. So this is stuff that the Broncos can come back to initially, and it's going to create some opportunities. But that is a great throw by Drew Locke. Just unfortunately, it was a drop there by Deshaun Hamilton.